this morning, we were honored to have Chapel Hart visit the WXXV newsroom, and I was able to sit down and talk to the talented trio about life after America's Got Talent and their journey on the road. Welcome, and we have Chapel Hart here joining us. What an honor it is to have them in our studio today. Thank you again, ladies. It surely is a pleasure seeing your old smiley faces. Hello. Thank you Thank for you having, having us. us. Absolutely. What an honor. It's a pleasure is all yours. All mine. Uh, so first off, just tell me a little bit about since the show happened, what's kind of been the move? How have y'all been on the road? So since we were on AGT, everything has just been going, going, going nonstop. We just got off. Uh, we just got off of our 60 date Glory Days tour, and we went all over the, the U.S. world. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We went all over, but it, it felt was, like it for yeah, sure. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. But it was so amazing being able to go and get to finally meet a lot of the people who watched us on AGT and got to vote for us, and just being able to hug them and tell them thank you. Yeah, tell them Ooh, thank you yes. in person was amazing. Yes, and embrace them. I'm sure that just helps yes. a lot, just seeing their smiley faces. And hear, I'm sure y'all heard a lot of cheers on the stage, but I mean, mm -hmm. just seeing it in all different areas, I'm sure that truly meant a lot to y'all. We and, we often tell our fans we get a chance to like spread our Mississippi love with all of them. Absolutely. And it's, it's all the hugs and all the things. And, you know, sometimes it's like they kind of push us along because it's like I tell them, look, in Mississippi, <laughs> we can talk, honey, if we can't exactly. do nothing else. And so, but we get a chance to hear their stories and how they met us and how they, you know, and how our music and, and our, you know, following us on social media and all of oh, those things have like changed their lives and like to hear stories like that we've just been just beyond grateful we're beyond grateful and we're beyond, we're beyond blessed I think. Yes. yeah absolutely absolutely and maybe what has been one of y'all's favorite places y'all gone so far y'all have a favorite Ooh, oh man. I have to say we 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 hit all the corners on this tour, but there are a couple places that stuck out. Now, one place I gotta say, El Dorado, Arkansas, wow. reminded us a lot it, of like, South Mississippi. It felt like Mississippi. Whenever we went there, the people, the energy was amazing, and like some of the families even went from there to the next show in Arkansas. Some oh, of wow. them came down to see us in, in Texas, and it kind of just went into that like it felt like home and it felt like you know mm -hmm. we just added some more members to the family well speaking of shows being at home i anytime that we play in mississippi though nothing tops a mississippi show oh, oh and so yeah. we got go for it this weekend and we are just over the month. Oh, yes. absolutely. I feel like I feel like our Gulfport show is like the cherry on the top after this amazing like hearty tour that we've been yes, on. Now like, we get to come home and cut up. Okay. Yes. yes. <laughs> Be your true selves on yes. the stage. Yes. No shoes. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> hey, that's what some people think, right? About us. Right. <laughs> we wear them, but not if you don't have yeah, to. Yeah, right. No. Mm -mm. That's how. I, that's how I know we're home because the viewers don't know she ain't wearing shoes right now. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, she exposed it's you. A, it's the. It's a kickoff ministry. You wear them to where you're going, but yeah, then you kick absolutely. them off. Look, you get comfortable. You're comfortable. You there gotta you wear go. Our manager told us, well, you have to wear the shoes on, on stage. On stage. Okay. <laughs> and as soon as they get on stage, I'm gonna... He only talked about the transition. You're there you go. You're right. There you go. Also, is there anything else? Um, are y'all getting ready to get the album soon? Things like that? Anything about the album? So, we just released our album, Glory Days, on May the 19th. And um, we have gotten so much. It, it just, it was... It was explosive. It, yes. it was just such a huge release for us that we were not even expecting. But um, one of the things that was super special about this album is that um, we went back to our roots. So for the girls who are back in town, we were trying to like chase the industry and figure out what they were looking for. And you know, how do we catch their attention? And we wanted to show them we can make radio songs and we can make this. And um, this last record, we, we started our tour in January and we watched people buy VIP tickets to get in the front row to come and say hello, to get hugs and, you know, just to say how much they loved us and how much we've encouraged them. And we realized that's the people that we should be making music for. And mm -hmm. so the Glory Days album is 100% that. We really got a chance to tell some of our Mississippi stories is what we tell people on tour. I was like, you know, we always tell them, y'all gotta come down to Mississippi. It's mm -hmm. like a family reunion Absolutely. you didn't even know that you were part yes. of and everybody is your family. <laughs> I said, it just feels like that. And I think that that's what this album feels like. So if you get a chance, I always tell folks, I don't want to tell you just go download. I want to, I want you to, I want to earn your download. So make sure you get your tickets for this weekend because we're going to be doing some of those songs at the show as well as some from the other yes. albums as well. Also, we'll be doing a couple covers to have make people sing along. Ooh, so look. And we have a big surprise at this show. Yes. Yes. We have a really oh, big surprise. Tell me that. I'm so going to try to get out of you. <laughs> 
and you that, can't tell him. I'm not gonna say nothing. I'm not gonna say anything. Fine, Danica fine. is the worst at keeping secrets. I am. Oh don't, don't, don't leave me in this chair too long because yeah. I'm gonna tell him. <laughs> I used to tell my brother all his Christmas presents when my parents told me. I used to tell him everything. <laughs> so I understand. Why don't you okay. Ever tell me? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, thank y'all so very much for You're joining so us today. Um, what a treat it was seeing y'all in person. Um, and just thank you for joining us on WXXV. This is the place. It was so great getting to chat with Danica, Devin, and Tree. We are wishing them the best as they are set to play in front of a hometown crowd tomorrow.